Studio B. We are welcoming in one of the hosts of After Further View right now, Dave McCann, longtime play-by-play man, and uh, just a great guy overall. Dave, Dave look at the shirt. I like the shirt. The send, shirt selection today. Sending some karma out east. Even though Zach's coming west this week to okay. play Denver. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's so, let's start there. Some. Okay, he, so, needs, he needs a boost. So Rex Ryan, longtime Jets coach, comes to Zach's defense on ESPN show called Get Up. Mike Greenberg's a longtime Jets fan. They all said, "Hey, he's got way too much on his shoulders." Rex Ryan said he's the most talented Jet since Joe Namath. What do you think about all that? A tattoo of Mark Sanchez? Yeah. Do do you think that's a fair analysis that uh, people see to hold their horses on Zach Wilson that he has that talent? You know, you guys were talking about Ty a few minutes ago. I remember when Ty made his debut against Wyoming and he threw five interceptions. And on that day, there's not one of us, no matter how diehard anybody was, that dreamed that that guy's going to win the Heisman Trophy. <laughs> um, but as he got better, the game slowed down, and, and he was a magician at the end. And I think that's we're starting to see that it's the same process all over again in the NFL. Rarely do they just go in and light it up. Uh, might have a game where they light it up, but reality always comes. You're going up against the best defenders in the world. Not preseason defenders. These are the A-listers. And... I think uh, it's going to be it's going to be rough because Zach's on a bad team that's got to rebuild from every position, uh, and the spotlight's on him. You know he won't be happy with four picks. That's a lot. That sounded horrible. I got out of church like, what? He threw four picks. <laughs> but at the same time, it's it's the Jets. You know they're just got to baby step their way up like the Bills did a few years ago. Now the Bills are contenders because they got their quarterback and built around him. And that's what the Jets think they have with Zach. I think that's what they have with Zach. But they got to build around him. But there'll be some beatdowns this season. And even in the, the the Patriot defense was good. The Patriot offense isn't good. They got a rookie quarterback themselves. But their defense trumped the Jets' defense, and what they win by 13 points. Nine, or something 19, like that. Yeah, yeah, it, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So better days are ahead for Zach. And now we're we're going to send some karma his way. Yeah, I love it. Okay, let's talk about BYU and Arizona State. What what a crazy game. Three and zero. Two ranked wins, the crowd, Tyler Algiers play. That was insane, man. It is so fun. And, and you just hope that, uh, that Cougar Nation can enjoy the ride. You never know when it's going to end, and it might not. But you, didn't, you just don't know. There's just no guarantee in sports. But what there is a guarantee of is it's Tuesday, and BYU's 3-0, and and they're ranked 15th in the country. Some people are debating, well, I don't think they're the best 15th best team in the country. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The national writers think that. So just enjoy the ride because it hasn't always been this way. And none of us thought... We thought BYU have a chance to win every game this season when you look at the matchup head-to-head. But the whole body of work, there was not many who thought they'd be 3-0. There's and There's a lot of hopeful ones. As they go game by game, I can see that we, BYU should beat Utah. They play well. They protect the ball. They have a chance to beat Arizona State if they win the turnover battle, which they did. And now they look at South Florida, and it's got to be a game where the starters need the second half off. And this is kind of a, could give them a, almost a week and a half. It'll sound horrible, but I'm not a coach, so I can say not it. Not on the team. Yeah. Uh, you could almost give the starters a week and a half rest before Utah State. And then you got to do the same thing because of that stretch run you were talking about a moment ago with all the P5s. There are some games in there where Algier doesn't have to play more than a quarter and a half. Sure. And that, that would be good. That would preserve him for the USCs at the end. Yes, I bet he's beat up. And, and that's the cost of kind of playing this schedule, which we'll get used to in the Big 12. But... Here we are. Yeah, we were, <clears throat> we were talking about the depth of this BYU football team and asking each other, okay, do they have the depth truly to win 10 games in the regular season? I think it comes down to taking care of business against the next three group of five opponents, being 6-0 and going to Baylor, and then they've got a real shot to, uh, to win four of the final six, which includes USC, Baylor, Washington State, and Virginia. Do you feel like this team has the depth to win 10 regular season games? Well, yeah, after the first three, and, and, and Peely, uh, you know, feel awful about his situation, but he's the only one that we've lost for the season. And other guys, like Kalani said a moment ago on the show, uh, everyone's good for this week, and, and Ellis is coming back. That's our best corner uh, that, that hasn't played for the last couple games. So, yeah, they do, but they've got to they gotta manage it. And I, I think the managing is get up 28 points early on South Florida and sit the rest. Let Baylor play three quarters or let him play a half or let, let Conover get in for a quarter. But that's on the guys because they got to go out and do it. The other team's coming expecting to play four quarters of hard football and stuff. So there's no guarantee. Yeah. No one's going to take a knee. But South Florida. BYU will on an extra point. <laughs> South Florida, <laughs> Idaho State, and Georgia Southern. Those are three games where BYU starters should not be in past halftime. Okay. And that sets them up for... 
being healthy <laughs> in some of those other big ones. And and every game on that schedule, when we were here last time, we looked at the one that like, show me a game on that schedule where BYU couldn't win. When you look at them, can they win all 12? That's, that's ominous, probably not. But when you go game to game, can they beat USC? Well, USC's playing their freshman quarterback. Um, Local kid. And, you know, and that game's still so far away. Who knows who's going to still be standing there. But, but absolutely they could. I think Arizona State might be the best team in the Pac-12. Yeah, and we said as much earlier. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the Pac-12, more than Oregon. Maybe, well, maybe in the not. South? Maybe, yeah, the in the South, South for sure. South. Yeah, okay. Oregon clearly the best team. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, after further review tonight, what's in store? The beauty of after further review is we're not on film, as you mentioned a moment ago. <laughs> and with digital, you can do all these things with the stuff. And so we're going to look at the punch out play from Algier and oh, a bunch of different angles. What a play. And get David and Blaine to dissect the thing. And, and it I want might a reenactment. Uh, can we do that? <laughs> Yeah, Blaine will come. Blaine will come leaping. He'll have to sign the insurance waiver, but he'll actually leave the ground. Yes. Come over Nixon's shoulder and try to knock that away. <laughs> but was it the greatest play in the in the history of Lavelle Edwards Stadium? At least on defense, it might be. And a lot of people were talking about that that Kyle Morrell Hawaii stop mm -hmm. um, as one of the greatest defensive plays in school history. That only got bigger as the season went on. Yeah. Kyle Morrell made that tackle on September 22nd. Wow. There were eight other games. And so as they got to 9, 10, they won them all. They're looking back going, well, you know what play saved the season all the way back in September. Yeah. Back in September, it was just a really good play that helped them win that game. Time's going to tell us how uh, valuable this play was and this performance by Algier. Uh, and, and could it become the greatest? Well, if BYU runs the table, it just will all maybe. of a sudden become maybe. this is massive. Right now, it's just the coolest thing we've seen in so long. <laughs> all right, final question for you, Dave. Do you care what BYU's opponents do after maybe BYU plays them or even before them? Like, do you root for all of BYU's opponents to play well to help the strength of schedule factor? No. No? No. I, well, I've never rooted for Utah one single day. <laughs> I cheered for Alabama in the Sugar Bowl. I don't, I don't even care. And, but uh, you're okay seeing them the Salt Lake Diego McCants State. are Utah fans, at least a lot of them. <laughs> I, I don't even care about that. Uh, Boise State, I have a hard time cheering for them, too. I don't know why. Um, I was happy that Central Florida beat them, and I'm like, <laughs> there's, no, there's no real reason for that. But the others, the others would be great. You know, I, I, like, uh, I like Bronco and his staff, and I want them to do really well. Uh, and I think that's going to be a great game on, on October 30th here. But just Virginia. So maybe Virginia. <laughs> there's a couple of us. I like UNLV. You know, I spend a lot of time with the Rebels. Great. I always look to see how they're doing. You okay with Arizona State playing well after this? Yeah, I'd love to see Arizona play. Right. I, I think Herm Edwards is, is a real <laughs> cool guy. And, and that Jaden Daniels is a good quarterback who could not run against BYU's Ten defense. yards. Yeah. Ten Crazy. yards. So, yeah, so there's a couple in there. But then again... <laughs> You know. Fair enough. I no, I appreciate the honesty. I think that's great. I think in, in Utah's scrimmage, I've cheered for the JV team. I mean, <laughs> that's just that's just how we were raised. It's to that level, I love it. Dave McCann, I'm with you. See you guys. We're looking forward to you on after further review tonight. Thanks.